All right, so we're back in Factorio, and we're looking at, I forgot to turn all on. All right, so we've got blue circuits here. Um, this one, ah, we need to set up lubricant. All right, so that will be making lubricant. It only turns on when heavy oil is more than green, which is currently true, but we're not currently making any heavy oil. Reason for that, we backlogged there. Okay, so the light oil is currently completely clogged. And petroleum is low. All right, yeah, so uh, we can't have these running anymore because um, the light oil is clogged. Now, thankfully, we already have uh, cracking enabled, so we'll be able to deal with that in just a minute. All right. Volume's real loud. There we go. That'll do better. All right. This will make electric engines. That has the stuff it needs. It just needs lubricant. Uh, this was going to be, right? This is going to be a research. Um, how do we not have the proper research yet? So we need electric engines. All right, let's take a look at that. Um, is this what we wanted? Where's the recipe for it? Purple research, no. Yellow. I've completely forgotten what I was looking at here. So we had, ah, we're making flying robot frames. That's what it was, okay. All right, flying robot frames are over here. That should have all those. We're not currently... Ah, oh, this is broken. So that needs to be in there. All right, so once we've got electric engines running, um, then we'll be making flying robot frames. Flying robot frames, of course, are part of the yellow science. All right, so let's see what else we need for yellow science. Low density structure. There we go. What else do we need here? Uh, let's see. Purple science. Purple science is going to require some modules. Oh, it's going to need all the modules, right? Those already queued up. What's missing? Am I just blind here? No, we're researching modules. We haven't started researching that. There we go. And once we get that and that, then we'll have the ability to research that. All right, so we're going for yellow and purple science. All right, yeah, that was weird. Uh, just went blind for a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look and let's get cracking running. Uh, cracking, we take a look at how that works. Um, so petroleum, to crack, to create petroleum, we're going to need water plus light oil, of course. And so my general thing, just like I did with lubricant, is I will have a pump here that will say when the um, when the light oil is more than petroleum, then I'll crack light oil into petroleum. When the heavy oil is more than light oil, then I'll crack that. And these are going to be more or less symmetric um, things. So what I'm going to do here, so I can save one pipe, so I can save having to have a water pipe. Um, what I'm going to do is this. So let we'll, well, we'll copy that later here. I first want to copy something that will connect. No, we're not going to create heavy oil. We're going to create light oil. There we go. All right, so we want to have something, and technically we want to have it out beyond that range, just so we can keep things nicely lined up. 
guess it's a little excessive to do it this way. All right, so this is going to be the output from the heavy oil cracking into light oil. So we'll actually turn this this way. We'll put in our power lines. We'll need to get circuit networks connected so we can know how much we're running here. And looks like we don't have enough of those. All right, we'll get that queued up. This will be the heavy oil line over here. So we'll do that. And then we'll have a water line. And the reason I'm doing it in this funny order here is I'm actually going to have the water line shared between both the cracking systems, which is, you know, is an excessive over optimization. Of course it is, but it's also pretty cool. Whoop. No need to get rid of all that. There we go. We'll connect those. And we will want to connect that as well eventually. And we'll also need the water line connected. There we go. All right. So this is going to be turning uh, heavy oil into light oil. We have, we do not have enough of that. Really? How am I, I thought I'd queued up enough uh, iron. All right, let's get a chest here. This is not at all a long-term solution, but this is a hacker solution that'll work for now. Let's make those fast. All right, Alt-U will give me the upgrade planner and I can auto upgrade those. I don't have stack inserters yet, so that's as fast as it's gonna get. All right, so we'll get working on that in the background. Um, this will be, so one of these is water, one of these is heavy oil. The water needs to go here. Heavy oil needs to go here. And then what we're gonna do is we'll take this system and uh, I need to copy that. I don't know. I could have also optimized this by having the hit, the light oil go straight in. But then you have to have the pump as well. I forgot before I need to put that in. All right, so I'm going to have a pump here. It needs power and it also needs circuit network. Certain circuit network. And what we want here is that we say if heavy oil is more than the light oil, then we want it to be pumping in, uh, right? And then there will similarly be a pump here. Um, but this pump, it's got its own circuit network connection. And this is going to be if light oil is more than petroleum, then we'll run here. Now we're going to have to move all this down here because when we do the cracking here, yeah, it expects the light oil to be input to be on the low side or lower down. All right. Get another underground pipe connected. Connect this up. This will connect to the petroleum line. Petroleum line is the second from the top. Actually, I could copy paste that again. There we go. We'll put that and that together. All right. So I'm still waiting on a whole bunch of stuff to get crafted, but We'll get working on that. All right. So the water line, I really don't want to sit here waiting for this. All right. Well, the water line's connected at least. We've got water there. This is still waiting for heavy oil to get connected. Really what we needed was we needed the light oil cracking that was, I, I set both things up, but the thing that's really going to 
unlock all the rest of the processing is going to be when light oil starts running and light oil light oil is greater than so this pump should be running the pump does not have light oil yet oh forgot to connect that okay there we go so now this is going to turn light oil into petroleum and we need to connect that in order to make that work So petroleum is going to get fed back into that system and that unlocks um, this refinery so that now everything's a lot more balanced. As this refinery runs, it will produce heavy oil, which will eventually cause this to run. Only that's not connected uh, again. There we go. All right. So we're making lubricant. So now basically the whole system's working out here. It should be creating lubricant electronic uh, electric engines only that needs to be rotated to make it work there we go we're making electric engines because of that we can now make robots and for simplicity here what I think I will probably do is I'll just have no wait a minute uh, let's think about what these robots require I think they require um, red and green circuits all right, so where are they here? Oh, do we not have the research here? Combat construction robotics. Oh, we don't have that queued up yet. Well, that's annoying. All right, start research and we'll do logistics robots as well. Um, but let's take a look at what they require here. So that's red circuit plus the frame this is green circuit plus the frame all right so we will actually we could go ahead and just build this i mean this is not exactly the most elegant thing i've ever done but then again this should be more than enough for the amount of robots that we're likely to have yeah look at that it'll drop one flying robot frame there this will create construction robots when the time comes. We'll have a chest here. We do have sulfuric acid that's going to get annoyed with us, but that's okay. I don't, well, we'll just put an underground pipe when the time comes. Um, over here, we need red circuits. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've done this occasionally when I'm just convinced that I'm not gonna need something very often and I just need one thing building, I will occasionally not even have the splitter. So let me show you what I'm thinking here. Uh, all right, so let's move this. It was just temporary anyway. All right, flying robot frames and red circuits. Put that there. So this is how we'll create the logistics robots. Um, we won't even have a splitter on it. All right, so cool. Um, what else are we gonna do here? Oh, we have to get this back to connect wherever red circuits are. Red circuits are currently being completely consumed by research. I'm glad that we're producing lots of research, but I also want a bunch more red circuits. So let's get that online. Here's another four and another four. It should be enough to get us for a little while here. All right, we're running short on anything here. Looks like we got the major pieces. All right, so we're going to get some additional red circuits here. Red circuits are going to be on which belt here? All right, so they're going to be here. Now they're going to go over here. Now they're brought down. You can go back up. So they're going to be right next to the green circuits here. Then engines push them away. We have two more things. So this is where red circuits are going to go right here. All right, so that should connect nicely. And what we'll do is that these will become provider chests, passive provider chests, part of the um, 
uh, the logistics network um, as soon as we can. All right, so what are we doing now? Um, we've already, we are working on low density structure. Well, let's go ahead and let's put in the machine for that. So low density structure, this is useful for science, but it's also part of the rocket. So this is going to be an important thing. We're gonna eventually want lots and lots of machines for this. All right, so copper, lots of copper. A little bit of steel, a little bit of plastic. So let's see where these are here. Copper's up there. That's where plastic is. And steel. Do we not? Oh, we do have a little bit of steel running through here. Oh, steel is getting set down. There we go. All right, so let's run. Now, I kind of want to... I, I don't want to have these two things conflicting. Because, as I said, I'm eventually going to need lots of low density structure. So I'm going to go ahead and build these more or less out like that. Let's have a there, there, and there. And it should work nicely here. Uh, no, let's do this and this. Let's shift it over by one. We'll have this come out like so. We'll have machines. All right, so what do we have here? Plastic. Um, this is going to be plastic. Then copper, or not copper, then steel, and the last one will be copper. There we go. And plastic will meet us out here. There we go. And Oh, wait a minute, no. Steel's real easy to get here. So we could do steel first, then we'll do copper or plastic. Not exactly the most elegant thing I've built, but we'll live. Um, okay, so steel was here. That's where steel is, there it is. All right. All right, so this, we can actually build low-density structures now. All right, so here we're going to make low-density structures. Need to connect power lines. Um, and this, I switched which side things are going to be on. All right. We'll dump all of our plastic in there. And uh, more plastic there. All right, low density structures. And now we want to have copper line come one step further. Let's see if we can pull all that. Nope, we got so much copper in there, we can't put it all in our inventory right now. And we probably ought to break the iron for the same reason. And what do we not have enough of? Well, we can put some more of the copper back. All right. Now, I don't like leaving chests around. Sometimes it's really the best solution you have. But it's just not a great, excellent solution. Um, however, we're about to get uh, robotics. So very soon, this is kind of going to go away, not be a worry anymore. Um, we're only getting copper on one side. Are we that short on copper? That's something we need to look into soon. We don't have either of these types of robotics yet. All right, so low-density structure. 
is going to be used. We don't need batteries, energy shield, lots of stuff. All right, it's going to be part of the satellite. And it's also used in the rocket. But here it's going to be used in utility science. We're very close to getting that. So let's go and we'll queue that up. Actually put that ahead of the logistics robots. I do want my logistics robots, but I really want the, uh, the rest of it first. All right, so yellow science. Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Yellow science. Deploying robot frame, uh, low density, and processing unit. All right, so where's those blue circuits? Blue circuits, are they not running yet? Oh, we're out of red circuits to fill, feed them. Okay. Well, they'll come in soon enough, and we don't have... Oh. Silly me. All right, so we've got the sulfuric acid. All right, so that's going to make blue circuits soon enough. That'll be on this line. And then over two more. This is where blue circuits are going to be here. And then they'll end up here. All right, so we've got the low-density structures. We'll uh, do those. And does it... It doesn't really matter because it's going to take 21 seconds anyway. So who really cares about throughput too much on those two? Uh, this is going to scoot over three. So that's going to be there. Wait a minute, that says to be plastic. One, two. Ah, this is where flying robot frames are actually going. Because there was one more. There we go. Okay. We still have plastic there, but I think that's from a leftover when when all the splitters were broken. Oh, uh, construction robots are now available. We'll go ahead and assemble those. And we'll work on RoboPorts soon. Yeah, RoboPorts are available to make. Okay, um, so we wanted the flying robot frames to be here. And this will be a filter for flying robot frames. And then the last part of that science was blue circuits. All right, so flying robot frames are all the way up there. Well, I think that's correct. Yeah, that's looking right. All right, so I think again, no, we want this to be making yellow science, which we don't have technology for yet. But we, when it is running, we want it to go down here. And we could do something a little funky here. I've done this before occasionally, uh, but it takes even more planning ahead. And that is to actually have another machine that's producing the other side of the belt. So let's go ahead and plan out what that would be. So let's say that this is where um, our purple science is going to be. Productivity module. We've already got rails. We could do that. Electric furnace. If I want to do this, it's going to be a little tricky to get right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna not gonna try to be that tricky. All right. So what I know for productivity module is that I need to make the electric furnace, which I want to make a lot of anyway, um, which is stone brick advanced circuit and um, yeah the steel. Okay. 
All right, so what I want to do here is we we'll, oh, don't want to copy the splitters when I'm doing this. Just want to fill in the blanks here. I think this is where we said loose blue circuits are going to go. So let's connect that before we forget. All right, so we're going to make here uh, the inputs for the electric furnace, which there are three of those. So we'll need two lines. We've seen, we've done this a number of times now. So we can do something like this. Uh, no, that's off. It needs to be one step further up. There we go. And we can actually copy paste all of this as well. That all goes in there. Uh, let's actually move this down a step because I'm gonna have a chest here. This will eventually, of course, be a provider chest, um, but it's not quite yet. This will be, now are the, is the furnace used in anything? Obviously it's heavily gonna be used on the base itself, but is it used for anything other than science? All right, so I'm not really gonna put this on the belt. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it just um, I'm going to put it only uh, in a little local belt that will be used for the science. So let's take a look here. Um, three things that we needed for the furnace, brick, red circuit, steel. Uh, steel we've used very recently. So that should be steel. Steel is coming out on this line. It's mixed up with plastic temporarily, but that gets cleared soon enough. Uh, right, and the, the next one was, we have red circuit and stone brick. Like red circuit, we have relatively recently stone bricks a long way away. So we'll go red circuit. We'll go stone brick, which is on the first page. We'll copy paste those. All right. And we'll have to take a look to see. Where, oh, no, red circuit's actually not very far down. Um, I think that's red circuit right there. We still don't have enough red circuits. I think uh, there's quite a quite a bit of belt space on this research line that can function as a buffer. But also look at that. We don't have much copper. Well, it's getting all used up. We did make copper wire, so let's see. What happens if we make some more? Um, it does look like the copper, oh, our copper is running short on the overall system as well. Well, let's take a look, see what the root cause of that is. Probably we're just not producing enough copper. All right, so I'm, I'm really surprised here actually that we have not found ourselves needing a ton more iron because normally at this point, I would expect to have iron be a real limitation but I, I, it may be just because I've been letting the thing run offline. And so iron has a tendency to catch up. Um, let's see how the copper is going. I think the copper, we, we smelted it double-sided, didn't we? Yeah, it is. Um, currently, oh, there's the trick, is that basically our input line is only enough to fill um, one of those two smelting lines that we have. So let's see what we can do about increasing capacity on the mine. Now I was thinking immediately, I thought, oh, well, we're gonna have to go start actually building those rail lines out to the mines, but that's not true yet. Wow, how long has this been sitting here? Ages and ages. Uh, right there. I, use, 
use a splitter when I'm trying to get more throughput here because sometimes one of the lines will produce more and some of them, one of them will produce less. And so if you use a splitter, then it'll just kind of pull from whichever one makes sense. Now this is very, very hackish, but I guess we can make it work. What I'm going to do here is since that probably is going to pick up some iron, I'll feed it into that splitter there so that it will sort. You notice I didn't use a splitter with this incoming line, and that's simply because there's few enough things that are likely to be coming through there that it's not likely to be real compelling. I am noticing that we're starting to run a little low on coal. Only two, a quarter of a million there. You do not want to get to a point where you're out of coal entirely. And so we might want to start think about actually building that. Um, building the mining line at least far enough out. Oh, there's no coal there. The coal is over here. Um, oh, we've got several things of coal. All right, I think it might be time to do that. But if I do that, I kind of want to... I'd like to switch over into better uh, better fuel altogether. All right, that, mu that stone mine is done. Excellent. All right, let's make sure all of these are pulling the right direction. So now they're putting these back onto the stone line. Uh, we're not... Actually, we don't have a big backlog of red science, so... We'll double that. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. We got red, green, we got the basics here, but I'd like to get the rest. All right, so what I'm thinking here is that I'm probably going to Instead of doing a ton of coal immediately here, I'm going to look at getting a better fuel system. And that will require that we do rework the belt a little bit here. Um, it might actually cause quite a chain reaction of pain, if I think about it. Um, because... So I've been using coal for two things so far. I've been using it both for... Uh, oh, we got that. Let's get the logistics system running. And then we'll get the purple science pretty soon here. Start research. This. And this. And this. All of that unlocking that. Actually, most of those weren't required, I think. I think that's not... No, I'm, now I'm all confused. Science, we do have to do modules, that's that's in the queue. We have to do the productivity module. Oh, that's the speed module. All right, so let's start that research. That's okay, that's all we need. This is, uh, we can start making logistics robots. Although, of course, it's not going to make them because we're still backlogged on red circuits we're back locked on red circuits because copper was at uh was way behind so it's going to take a while for all that to catch up